Hello everyone, Shatticus here, and today, since it's Fursuit Friday, I thought I'd take and do a different approach to Fursuit Friday. Now, because I'm more of a crafter than a doodler, I figured... Why not go ahead and put my talent that I have at coming up with ideas and building things into one simple kind of thing? So, of course, that's kind of what got me to start making fursuits. So, anyways, before I hand it over to live me, uh, just I'm going to go ahead and explain a little bit about today's fursuit vlog. Now, basically what I wanted to take and do was go from start with a sketch all the way to finished fursuit. And I want to try and take and do it as little time as possible. So some things that I'm going to take and do different from this fursuit from when I made Deadeye is, for one thing, I'm actually going to build my own head. I'm not going to use a blank that you can buy from certain people. And, uh, yeah, that's basically how I'm going to take it to it. I'm going to go from scratch to finished product in as little time as possible. Now, I already started this last week. So this is week one of building the fursuit. So with that said, take it away, live me. All right. So uh, it's part of week one for taking doing this. Uh, I decided it's best to come up with a design and sketch out that design. And, uh, yeah, so this is what I came up with. I don't have an official working title for it, but uh, as you guys can see, I came up with a very simple idea. Um, as you can see, I doodled some notes on the sketch to figure out what I want to take and do. Like, it's going to have light up eyes. Um, teeth are going to be a bit jagged and just disorienting. Um, also want to take a do a hood. So that's what that whole thing around there is. It's also going to have a neckline like most fursuit heads have. And this is, excuse my bad drawing, but this is the basic idea of what I want to take and do for a fursuit. So as you guys can see, I already have the idea of using a full suit I, I know I already kind of did a mark there but that's just how I, I got an idea where the waist will be and of course we're going to have uh, hand paws and feet paws so and a tail which I marked on there uh, that part I know for sure I want it to be uh, very wild looking uh, after all this is not going to be a usual fursuit so um yeah that's about all i can really say about the sketch let's move on to the templates okay so here are some of my templates as of right now uh reason i have two of the same is because this one sitting here was supposed to be for the lower jaw and it just didn't come out the way i wanted it to uh, as you can see, it's a little bit shorter than my other one here, which is a lot bigger and a lot longer uh, by about, I want to say two, two and a half inches. Because as you can see, if I try and hold it up to my head form here, which has a Balkov on, which <laughs> needs to be straightened. Uh, okay. Um, when I go to hold it up like this. It does not sit well, so I'm kind of like, okay, here, like, uh, there we go. Um, so yeah, if I, so when I hold it like this, I see that it's pretty short. So with this one, I got a bit of a longer jaw and that can help for a couple different areas. So 
I am not sure this will be the final sizing uh, because who knows? I might augment that a little bit. Now here is the cheek one, which as you guys can see, if I put it there, it might be a bit too big. So I'm going to go ahead and try it on some upholstery foam and start the base, see what works. And I figure for a base, I'm going to try a bucket head um, one, which, yeah, I got from online. So if you aren't ever sure, check online. This is how I found mine. I did it on a image search. And, uh, yeah, that's how I got that. So let's go ahead and let's try it out on uh, some actual foam. Oh, by the way, this is foam. I, I mean the upholstery foam. This is nothing more than some craft foam that I had laying around. Lucky me. All right. So as you guys can see, we got the bucket done. Made a couple cuts in the top. And while we're waiting for the hot glue to dry, we're going to... Go ahead and try to get these notches prepared so that they look a little something like this. And I try to get them as nice and straight as possible so we're not trying to uh, have any angles to glue on. And as you can tell by the back, we used a lot of hot glue to try and get this held together. I know it's not very pretty. But as long as it holds up, that's that's the key component. And uh, that's about all I got. Yeah. I think in the future, though, for things like this, I'm going to just use some contact cement because you don't got to worry about ugly seams like this. And as you can see, let's get it in close. Yeah, you can really see the hot glue sticking out. Now, it wouldn't matter, it seems how this is going to get covered with fur later on. And that's way down the line. But, uh, yeah, that's what I got for you guys. So that's it for today's Fursuit Friday vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you would, please give it a like, share it with your friends, or leave a comment down below. And if you're really feeling generous, check me out on social media. I'm on Furry Amino. And I'm on Twitter. All of my social media is down in the description below. Till next time, stay fuzzy, my friends. I'll see you next time. Later!